morning students welcome back today we are going to start our fourth chapter in political science that is executive in this chapter the points which we are going to cover are different organs of democratic government under this sub topic we will discuss about different organs of government under democracy and these are legislature executive and judiciary second is executive and its functions under this sub topic we will discuss about the meaning of executive and then along with that we will discuss different functions of executive means how does it work to run the country nicely third is types of executive under this sub topic we will come to know about the different types of executive next is age and tenure of president under this sub topic we will come to know about the head of our country president what can be the age for uh, standing in the election of a president and finally what can be the duration of a president that position and at last we will come to know about the executive legislative and judicial power of president so students these are the sub topics which we are going to cover in today's session rest of the topics we will discuss in next session of the same chapter executive so here we begin with the first sub topic of our today's chapter different organs of democratic government students before discussing about the different organs of a, a democratic government first we have to understand what is democracy or what a democratic government can be earlier also in our previous chapters we discussed about democracy and different organs of a democratic form of government so again we are going to repeat here so that it can be easy for us to understand about these organs now first is legislature second is executive and the third one is judiciary so students these are the three organs of our democratic form of government before these organs we have to discuss what is democracy democracy is the best form of government under which the people of the country have full power in their own hands to choose their representatives for forming the government to run the country systematically this is the main feature of democratic form of government under this uh, democratic form of government all the citizens are free equally to enjoy their rights and different facilities to lead a very good life and different organs of democratic government is a um, very important feature of democracy so students under different organs of democratic government our first point is or first organ is legislature the main function of legislature is to make rules and regulations students this is the main function of legislature this organ of democratic government legislature used to work for framing rules and regulations for the people of the country legislature frames different rules regulations so that the people of the country can follow them and can be able to lead meaningful and dignified life so that they cannot face any kind of problem in the absence of rules and regulations so it's a very important organ of democratic form of government that is legislature 
second is uh, students executive the main function of executive is to do implementation of rules and regulations so students as we came to know that the main function of legislature is to make rules and regulations for the people of the country and in the same way a very important responsibility is going to be performed by executive also that is to do implementation of all these rules and regulations equally for all the people systematically properly this is the main function of executive executive has the responsibility to check whether all the rules and regulations are going to be followed by the people properly or not whether these rules and regulations are in the favor of uh, welfare and goodness of the common people or not so executive also plays an important role as the organ of democratic form of government students last is judiciary the main function of judiciary is to provide impartial justice to all the people of the country equally under judiciary all the people have right to complain in different courts as we have uh, different courts at different levels so people who suffer in the society from any problem so those people can go to different courts to have impartial justice so judiciary has also another great responsibility that is to provide impartial justice to all the people equally it doesn't matter for judiciary whether the person who is suffering from any problem is belonging to upper class middle class or poor class all are equal in front of judiciary now students in today's chapter we are going to understand executive in a vast form now we are moving towards our second sub topic that is executive and its functions under this sub topic students we are going to discuss about the different duties or responsibilities performed by executive how executive works nicely properly in our country so that the people who belong to government can run the country in a very systematic way so that they cannot face any problem to govern the country systematically executive and its functions just before few seconds students we uh, discussed here about uh, executive how executive used to do the implementation of rules and regulations in our country so that people can follow them properly and become able to lead a meaningful and successful life so that they cannot face any problem in the society so that they can do all the efforts for their development so executive is uh, an organ of a democratic form of government which works to do the implementation of rules and regulations in a country now we are moving towards the different functions which can be performed by executive in our country first is already we have discussed to do implementations of all the rules and regulations in the country students this is the most important function of our executive 
executive has the responsibility to do implementation of all those rules and regulations which are framed by legislature. Executive works to do the implementation of these rules equally for all the people in the society. All the people should get proper rules and regulations. This is the duty of executive to observe, to supervise in the society at different levels. Second is to help legislature for framing rules and regulations. Students, when legislature needs help of executor to frame different rules and regulations properly for the welfare and goodness of common people in the country, executive always gets ready to help legislature. Executive means the people who belong to this executive organ, they used to give different suggestions or advices to the people who belong to legislature. They know very well that when they will work together as a team, only then they can work for the welfare and goodness of uh, all the people equally in the country. So, in the time of need, executive helps legislature so that the people who belong to legislature can be able to frame very good rules and regulations equally for all the people in the country. Third is, it's also very important function of executive students to maintain good relationship among different states in the country. Students, this is also an important uh, function of our executive that is to maintain good relationship among different states in the country. Really students, as we come to know, that the main function of executive is to do implementation of all the rules and regulations in the country. So, due to this process, in all the states, executive becomes able to maintain very good and calm relationship among all these states. Why? Because the implementation of these rules and regulations, this process goes on equally for all the states. There is no discrimination in this process done by executor with any state. All the states are equal for executor, so the process of implementation of these rules and regulation is also same for all the states. And in this way, when all the states receive same rules and regulations, so uh, it helps to maintain a very good relationship among these states, which is a very good function uh, of our executor. Students, finally, to do all its best effort for goodness of common people. So finally, after discussing all the functions of our executive, this organ, we observe or we come to know that executive performs its duty properly in the society and always tries to give its best effort to do all the work in the welfare and goodness of the people of the country. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, students, we are moving towards our next subtopic that is types of executor. There are different types of executor 
which can be followed by different countries to run their country systematically. It's also a very important subtopic of our today's chapter that is executive students. So please uh, listen carefully, be attentive so that you can understand sincerely. So that you can be able to do your work nicely without any problem. So now we are moving towards types of executive. Types of executive. First is parliamentary form of executive. Students, it's a uh, a very important type of executive which is followed by our own country, India. Under parliamentary form of executive, what happens now we are going to discuss here. Under parliamentary form of executive, the whole power lies in the hand of prime minister along with his or her council of minister. And president will be nominal head of the country. The whole power lies in the hand of Prime Minister. Prime Minister always used to give suggestions to President. President used to consult with Prime Minister for taking any decision along with Council of Minister. So under parliamentary form of a executive, we can say that Prime Minister is powerful than President. Second is Presidential Executive. Students, students under this uh, form of uh, executive, that is Presidential Executive, what happens? The whole power lies in the hand of president only. All the decisions can be taken by president only. Now, next is semi-presidential executive. So students, here, with the help of words semi, little bit, you can guess here what kind of executive can be there. So, under semi-presidential executive, the power can be shared by Prime Minister and President equally. They both work together by enjoying the same power. Now, last is, Ceremonial Executive. Students, ceremonial word can give you opportunity to guess what this executive can be. Ceremony. Ceremonial Executive. Under this type of executive, what happens? The head can be king or queen in the country and he or she can uh, participate as the head of the country during different occasions or ceremonies only. So students, under this subtopic, we came to know about different types of executive here. Now, we are moving towards our next subtopic, that is President means the head of our country. Then we will come to know about his or her age and tenure means the duration to work as president in the country. The 
This is also a very important subtopic of our today's chapter. So, President Age and Tenure of President Student, as I told you that president is a nominal head of our country and he or she can be chosen by the members of both houses of our parliament, that is Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Now students, the age for this post president in our country is 35 years, means a person who gets old, 35 years old, that person can be eligible to stand in election or to part uh, in election for uh, becoming the president of the country. So 35 years, this age is fixed for participating uh, as a candidate for this uh, post president in our country. Second, the duration, the tenure, the time period for a president to work is five years. Five years. So, a president can work for five years in our country. In a very simple way, uh, this is the conclusion regarding age and tenure of president. Now next is beta, which is a very important uh, part of this subtopic that is impeachment. It's very necessary to understand impeachment. In your previous classes also, especially in ninth class, you came to know about impeachment process. Students, what is it? Impeachment. Impeachment is a kind of process by which we can remove president or by which president can be removed from his or her duty. So what happens under this impeachment? If uh, any kind of a case is there against our president, so one third members of any house of parliament can give approval or kind of support against that and then after this process, president will have to resign from his or her position or 